Hello everybody, this is Simon Burrows from Creative Media Level 2 and this is my music video evaluation for Emma Stevens' The Star That Guides You Home. Now, as you know, I recorded a music video for, like I said, the song The Star That Guides You Home by Emma Stevens and I'm now going to talk about what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it and what I could do for next time. Improvements. First of all, the good things were that I actually submitted a video on time. I was happy that um, we went out on location to Bournemouth. Now, the weather on that particular day was excellent. I had no fault with that at all. In fact, it was one of the best days we've had for a bank holiday Monday. So that was a bonus. The sun was shining all day, so I could get plenty of filming done. But to turn that around, because it was a bank holiday Monday, there were too many people around in Bournemouth, so it gave it, um, although it gave it atmosphere, it was very difficult to film in one particular location, and so, hence why I went to different locations to film different scenes, like, you can see there's um, a beach scene in one, and then you have the, I can't remember what they're called, like the train um, that took you up to the cliffs, I can't remember, I think like a lift, but it's, like a cable car, that's the word. So that was good that I could do that as well, so I did uh, various locations. The other di um, disadvantage to my music video was the fact that only four of us, including myself of course, four of us were, the, uh, were only able to do the video. This is because I was uh, told that people could uh, come to the video shoot and be involved with it, but sadly because it was on a bank holiday, a few of them had to had been asked to work uh, the previous couple of days and so had to let me down because they had to work and obviously work's more important apparently than me shooting a video but what I did was have a few friends which you can see in the video and we made the best of what we could do so the idea of my music video was to have uh, sorry the original idea of my music video was to have people just um, having a good time like they were having on the beach and then coming back to do a couple of night scenes with lots of people, say about 10 or 15, up to 10 to 15 people to record a firework scene or have sparklers in the video but, like I said, because there weren't enough people it wouldn't have worked out and so I had to change the video very last minute which was a shame because I don't think the video was I don't know how to say this, but I didn't like the... I like the video, but I don't... It doesn't look like a music video to me. To me, it looks more like a... Uh, an attraction video, so... Like a holiday video to say, this is a guide to Bournemouth, come and watch this. As opposed to a professional music video. So I'm a bit disappointed how it turned out. The other thing uh, that I am disappointed about is that the fact that um, when I wanted my actors or friends to um, be involved, they would... They were always too willing, but then when I told them that I was going to film them, say, walking along the beach and things, most of them didn't really want to know, so that was a kind of a waste. So I just had to rely on... There was a, a couple of instances where they didn't mind me filming because they weren't looking at what they were doing, so... That was one good thing, but like I say, because they weren't... They didn't... They wanted to be in the video, but they didn't want to be in the video, if that makes sense. So it was a kind of waste. So I was a bit disappointed in that and how it turned out. Uh, another good thing is uh, I did manage to sync up the video because, like I say, nobody was miming in the video because Emma couldn't make the video. And that, and um, so rather than have somebody pretending to be Emma, I decided to just uh, let the music play on in the background so we could have the scenery and uh, the uh, background to speak for itself, really. But, and another dis um, disappointment to me for the music video was the fact that although Emma said she was going to make a little cap, well, try to uh, film a little cameo so I could edit it into the video, she gave me an email the um, same day I was talking, um, a couple of days ago, in fact, I was um, editing the video and said because of her time constraints and things like that, because she's filming, recording and filming for her new album, she wouldn't have time to um, spend to do that, so that was disappointing. 
But um, I'm still very happy that uh, she, sorry, she, Emma, did uh, agree to be, uh, to allow me to use her song in the video. I'm just um, a bit sad I couldn't uh, give the video justice, as it were, so. Uh, if I was to do this next time, let's have a look. Well, first of all, I would make sure that everyone was available at the same time, and if they weren't, then go on uh, several days' location shootings. However... The only trouble with that being is the fact that if I was to do it again, and if I was to go to Bournemouth, sorry, then I'd have to spend lots of money on petrol, car parkings and um, food bills, and it would just be too expensive. So what I would probably have to do now, in hindsight, is somewhere, choose somewhere local, like say the Bay, I know it's not very interesting, but maybe go to the Basingstoke, uh, Basingstoke, uh, Cemetery or something, I know, but then the trouble with that again is the fact that everyone seems to use that one as their video location and it gets a bit boring after a while. Once you've seen one, there you've seen them all, as it were. But I suppose you could do different camera angles and effects. Uh, I did like, like I say, I did like the fact that I was going around different locations in Bournemouth, so I would keep that the same. So if I wasn't going to Bournemouth, I would go to a, a local place, but I would choose different locations, different scenery, different um, settings with people, lots of it. The other thing I would also change is probably change the day of when I was filming. As you know, like I say earlier, that it was on a bank holiday, so there were lots of people there. And rather than um, have the, uh, sorry, rather than, completely lost my train of thought then, sorry. Uh, no, so rather than have lots of people there, I would rather feel comfortable because of my... Well, I would rather have people there, uh, sorry, I wouldn't have loads of people there, loads of crowds, because I don't do crowds very well, and it's also very difficult to film things without people getting in the way, and, excuse me, and also trying not to harbour in on what you're doing, so... If I did it on a quiet day, with hardly any people there, it would be just nice to have the uh, just the actors involved, or the friends as it were, rather than do that. So, And the other thing that... Um, I would probably still keep the same vid uh, song, because I do love the song. It is a really good song. It's one of my favourite songs now, because I've listened to it so many times. But I would keep the song uh, the same, because... Uh, apart from the fact I love the song, uh, it's a very good feel-good song. It's never had a music video to it, until now as it were. And um, yes, yeah, so I'd keep that the same, I'd keep the artist the same. And um, like I say, there are room for improvements and I'm sad that it didn't go as according to as the way I really wanted it to do. But um, it's all been a really great learning curve, so... Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to hearing feedback from it. Thank you.